Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use content modifier in our SAP CPI. All right, so for that, you can see I have a very simple uh, uh, CPI, which I have shown you a CPI flow, which I have shown uh, in the last video. Let's uh, add a new content modifier. So for that, you need to type in the search box, uh, say content modifier, and that's where you will see this. Click on it. Okay, I need to click edit button first. Maybe I'll simply say discard. I don't want any changes. And then you search uh, content modifier again. That is where you are seeing the plus button. Click on it. And then you can drag on this line. Okay. So right now, if I show you what was the previous state before the content modifier, you can see in the postman, whatever CSV you were tasking, uh, passing in that uh, uh, state we call. And we are converting that CSP into XML. That was the previous example. All right, so in this, I'll just show you like whatever content is there, how we can modify. Okay, so let's uh, go into this one. You go to body, message body, I mean to say. And for example, if you don't type anything and let's deploy right away. It's deployed. If I execute now, you see, I am getting XML back. So that means there is no change so far because our message body is empty. Now, if I type something like this is, uh, I will simply say this message is from content modifier. All right, so now if I deploy, let's see what's going to, ha to happen. Let's check out, let's wait. Deployed now. Go back to the postman again. If I execute now, you see in a sort of XML, we are getting this message. So that is the basic uh, use of content modifier. That means whatever is the content, I mean input content, that is going to be changed based on the whatever uh, you are passing in the uh, message body. Let's say that this is a static message we type now. Let's say we want a body also, whatever it is. So simply let's say I'll just simply say body and uh, how to access the body you can simply say whatever is the input is that you simply need to say a dollar and say in dot body and let's print it what is going to happen now i'll deploy it takes some time i think Let me check whether it's uh, just now we saw the message supplied now. Let's go back and you see this is the static message. And after that, we added a prefix as a body colon and then whatever is the body. That is nothing but input. Input, what is there? This is not the input. This is the input for the calling the HTTP call, right? So if I minimize this one from Postman, we are passing CSV. Then we are having a block which is saying CSV to XML. So XML is the actually input to content modifier. And in that modifier, what we are saying, you print this line, and after that, again, you print this label as a body and colon, and then whatever it is, the input directly we are printing. If you want to modify, you have an option to modify. Another thing I'll show you how you can use, uh, you know, header. Let's say I go back here and I want to pass some header, custom headers, let's say. I give some random name, let's say custom header. You can give whatever key you want to give. I'll say custom value and let's take it again. So, so far there's no change, but the header is passed in the entire flow. But how to print it? So, for that, what you need to do, you have to go back here in the uh, I flow. Let's say this time I want to print header value also. So I will say header. This is just a label I'm printing. But to access any header, what you need to simply say, you say header dot and that property name which you have used in the postman. So in our case, uh, we have used custom header. Go back here and print that. Let's deploy. Okay. 
take some time like five second or some time more let's wait as you can see now it's deployed let's go back here check if it's printed so you see the label is printed the value is not coming because our header is passed but it's uh, you know blocked in the iflow to enable that what you need to do you have to go back uh, on the iflow may i will tell you how to access you click wherever you want empty space and then you have from the integration iflow panel you go to this runtime configuration and that is where you need to say allow headers either you can allow only this custom one header let me show you both let's say you put a star here i mean this one or you can put on a specific one also i hope that also should work we'll give it a try first we'll try star let's deploy so it's deployed now as you can see uh go back to postman you see our value is printed all right so one more thing i want to show that i am also trying let's see whether it works or not i'll remove this star it star means now whatever header you are able to see here that entire thing will be able to print or entire thing will be able to access in the entire flow but let's say we are giving we are saying okay no access only this header so what will happen let me in this of star i will say name of that particular uh, header value or oh, sorry header name let's reply that also whether it works or not let's check that so it's triggered let's wait so as you can see it's deployed go back to the postman so you see it's still value is able to print let's try to access something else um let me say let let's say i want to print this value user agent because that is also passed okay so i'll not change anything over here let's go back to the content modifier and here i will put this user agent and you see in the runtime i still i'm keeping the old uh, you know header name let's deploy this let's see what is going to happen now now you can see it's deployed so let's trigger this something happened okay network glitch so you can see it's uh empty it's not pretty let's go back here again and i'll show you star again let's see what is going to happen now whether it's uh a star is only for base i mean the custom or existing one also or not so it's deployed now let's go back to the postman you see it's printed okay so now one more thing i'll show you i'll go back to the cpi flow remove this star and if you mouse over you see it's saying you can put more than one separated by pipe not by space so what we can do you can use this one and then you can use instead of star means like everything is accessible so I, so i can say pipe and i'll put the second value and i'll deploy this time triggered so you can see it's deployed let's check whether it is still accessible or not so you see it's accessible it's working i can change the value in the content module maybe i will print both together so that you will get to know whether it's really working or not so i get to i'll go back to the content modifier i'll say comma and i'll print the same maybe let's copy this let's deploy one more time so you can see this is also deployed go back here you see both the values are printed the user agent as well as the custom header all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much